Hey guys, it's Margarita. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to bring you my August wrap up. In the month of August, I read a total of six things. I, it's not my best reading month, but that's okay because I was doing a lot of celebrating. I had a wedding to go to for a very close friend who's like a brother to me. And my brother came all the way from Nebraska and brought his family. So I got to spend a lot of time loving up on my nine month old nephew who I almost never see. So reading really kind of took a back burner this month, but that's okay. I still read a decent amount and I had a good reading month for the most part, so I'm just going to get right into it. The first book that I read is Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. This is the first book in the Southern Reach trilogy. I actually got this from the library and loved it so much, I went out and bought a copy of it for myself, which you see before you. And this is a sci-fi thriller novel about this mysterious um, piece of land called Area X where this environmental disaster has occurred and it's this pristine wilderness all of a sudden and nobody knows what happened. All the people that live there are gone. Nobody knows what happened. So they send in expeditions and it follows our current expedition which is an expedition of four women, the biologist, the psychologist, the surveyor, and the anthropologist and it mostly focuses on the biologist and what their expedition is like and about this area and at the end of this book I had such an eerie feeling and I thought that he did a wonderful job. So I really really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 4 out of 5 and if you like sci-fi I would definitely pick this up. I think it's really really good. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did and I was very pleasantly surprised. So the next book that I read I don't actually have on me. I lent it to my mom and I'm pretty sure she took it with her to Argentina. And that is The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin, I believe. I'm like 95% sure. Um, and this is the story of A.J. Fickery, as the title um, suggests. And he is kind of this grumpy man and he has his reasons for being grumpy. And one day someone leaves a two-year-old at his bookstore and it changes his life because he decides to raise this child as his own and it is the story of him raising this child and you know that kind of stuff and it was such a heartwarming story I loved it I absolutely adored it I gave it five out of five and I definitely recommend it to everybody I mean there's no reason why you shouldn't like that book in my opinion but you know what do I know so the next book that I read is actually a graphic novel and that is Lock and Key Welcome to Lovecraft. This is the first um, volume I guess? Number one? Anyway. This is by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. This is a horror graphic novel and it follows a family who goes to this to live at this house um, Lovecraft and there are different keys that unlock different doors that cause different things to happen like one of them turns you into a ghost and it's actually really, really good. I really liked the um, drawings and the illustrations. I thought they were really well done. I love the color palette. It has this gray, you know, tone to it because it's a horror novel. And I can't wait to continue on with the series. I'll definitely go to the library and pick them up. Um, and most likely I'll probably end up purchasing them at some point later on down the road because I did actually really enjoy this. The next book that I read, I went back to the library and picked up Authority Jeff by Jeff Vandermeer, the second book in the Southern Reach trilogy. This does not follow our original cast of characters. It actually um, follows the guy in charge of Southern Reach, which is basically like the government entity that is sending people into Area X. And it follows that in the mystery there and all this other stuff. So good. This was so good and I absolutely loved it and I went on Book Outlet to buy the first book and I saw that they had the third one. Unfortunately they didn't have the second one or I would have bought that also but I'm definitely going to be continuing on with the fourth or the third book next month. Absolutely loved this. It's so good and again at the end you get this eerie feeling and it's like what the heck is happening? So good. I definitely recommend this series if you like sci-fi. So the next book that I read is Marina by Carlos Ruiz Zafon and this is um, translated by, 
flipped one page too far. Lucia Graves, who is the same woman who um, translated The Shadow of the Wind, which is a book that I absolutely adored earlier in the year. And I was really excited to read this because, like I said, I adored The Shadow of the Wind. The writing style was so beautiful and that just really elevated the story for me personally. This book was good. I don't know what happened to her in the translation. I don't know if it was her or if it was him, but this book was not as beautifully written as The Shadow of the Wind, so that kind of put a damper on my on my whole reading experience because I kept expecting this beautifully written book and I never really got it. The story was good, the story was fine. This might be a good um, story to read around October around Halloween time because it does kind of have that creepy feel and this book basically it follows um god what's his name Oscar and it follows him he goes missing for a week in Barcelona nobody knows where he is that's the synopsis that I read and to be perfectly honest with you guys I don't think that's a very good synopsis for this book because I kept waiting for it to happen and I was so confused because I didn't feel like I was reading the book that the synopsis said I was until the end, in which case I understood what had happened. Um, but this book follows Oscar and he kind of goes on the same adventure as um, happens in this book where nobody knows what's happening but these two kids decide to take it upon themselves to figure out what is happening in Barcelona and become detectives. I don't really understand what his thing is with children solving these like, like age old stories and mysteries. I don't know. But this book was well written. The storyline was, was fine, but it's not what I was really expecting. So I gave it a four out of five stars. I was kind of let down to be perfectly honest with you, but it is still a good story. It's just not, it didn't live up to what I know he could pop, he could do. And again, I don't know if that was him in the writing style or if maybe the translator, something was lost in translation. It's hard to tell. I'd have to read it in Spanish. Well, I had to become fluent in Spanish again and then read it in Spanish to be able to tell, but that's that one and then last but not least I read Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas I finally took the plunge and read it um, I absolutely adored her other series A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury so I figured I might as well read her first um, series gosh words are hard for me today and this is about Selena Seredothian who is a an assassin who got captured and sent to this work camp essentially where people are sent to die um, and she survives for a year and the crown prince comes to get her because she is going to compete for her freedom in this um, competition for to become the king's assassin and that's what this book follows. To be perfectly honest with you, I did not enjoy this book as much as I enjoyed um, her other series. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. It was okay. Um, as far as assassin books go, I've read better. Um, Brent Weeks, his Night Angel series, that is a great assassin story. I would definitely pick that over this if like, I had to choose an assassin story. Also, she introduced the Fae, and I love the Fae. I love stories surrounding the Fae, but it kind of, it didn't make sense to me why she was introducing them, even though there's a character in there that it, it just, I don't understand why the Fae even needed to be in this story. So I don't know. I will be continuing on with the series, but I'll be getting them from the library. Um, if they really start to impress me later on, I might purchase the series, but for now I'm not totally impressed and it was okay. So that's all I read this month. Um, let me know what you guys read in the bottom bar or in the comments below and I will come to you guys here shortly with my September TBR. Have a wonderful day. Bye!